Hey, Linda, do you ever work on a CRUD application and need to add a new field to something? That's one of the situations that you have one simple request and you end up in a rabbit hole where you're updating databases and suddenly fixing the API and... The whole thing, Yes. Right? Well, let me show you how we can make this a lot easier with the QCLI. Okay, you gotta show me that. So here I am, I'm in a terminal and I've got a Java Spring application and I wanna add a new email field to the owner object. So this is like a pet store. I'm gonna give it a prompt. I'm gonna say, add an email field to owner, update the UI and the SQL and test it with Gradle. So it's actually gonna run the test. And I did this fun thing here where I said minus A. That just says press yes over and over and over again. Just YOLO. Just vibe code YOLO. I've gotcha. been pressing yes this entire time. Couldn't you tell me that in the last episode? Gatekeeping for me, the the, the culture. Well, I wanted to save it for mine. I know, I agree. This is, this is okay, I need to see this in action, okay. Okay, so let's run that. Now it's just gonna go, and it's gonna make changes, it's gonna run my build tool, it's gonna run my test, and it's gonna take a few minutes to actually make all these changes, but in the end, it'll actually have validated changes because it's running the test, and have added that field to the UI, the SQL, the sample data, the object, uh, the persistence object, well, you're, all you're that You're speaking stuff. with and your hands, and you don't even have to press the yes button. Hey, no lie. Yeah. yeah. So it'll take a few minutes for it to finish, so let's just fast forward to it being done with these changes. Yes. And boom, Provide okay, them. there it goes. And sure enough, the changes have been made. We've got the new field added. We can see them there in the UI. You have a cute dog pic. It's the cute dog pic. This like is a good first pass at adding this new field to this CRUD application. Amazing, and we've just been vibe coding this entire time. If I had to do this stuff manually, it would I would be able to do it. I'm a skilled developer, but it would just take longer. Cheating. And so now with these tools, I'm gonna be able to actually get some things done. You can download and try QDeveloper for free in you look and the and of course you could try Q Developer for yourself for free in the CLI by downloading it. <laughs> so if you want to try this. <laughs> we have more episodes coming of becoming an AI first developer, so look out for those. Yay! That was awesome. <laughs>